Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. And I'm Marlee Serby. Veterans for Child Rescue is a group that fights child trafficking across the country. And now they have a member working right here in Pocatello. KPVI News that works for you journalist Paul Beam talked with V4CR. He joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Paul. Thanks, Matt and Marlies. Craig Sawyer, a veteran Navy SEAL sniper, started Vets for Child Rescue in April 2017. The group is looking to spread around the country, and we have our first member raising awareness here in Pocatello. You may have seen some of these flyers in storefronts along Main Street in Pocatello. Four months ago, the first step from Reina Avila, a veteran of the Army and the Air Force, was to start raising awareness of the group and the problems it faces, child trafficking. I didn't stop serving just because I'm not in uniform, so I was always looking for ways to be involved in my in the community, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm um, I stay active with veterans organizations and other things in town. And I just saw the the uh, website and I saw what they were doing. And I said, hey, you know, I think that's something that that I might be able to, to do. V4CR heavily focuses on keeping kids safe through safe online practices, spreading the knowledge of how different apps are used by predators. And in Pocatello, Reyna wants to start working through fundraising measures to help with some of the more active elements of their goals. Because the fundraising will help fund the sting operations that Veterans for Child Rescue does, and they work with law enforcement and other non-government organizations. If this is your first time hearing about the organization, it's because it's only just started to spread through Idaho. They are looking for more and more help as the organization continues to grow. And there was one other in northern Idaho, so we're just barely getting started. In fact, um, there was one man in Boise that just, he's starting to get active too, and so I was helping him to let him know how to kind of get started with the awareness and putting out flyers and stuff. So we're hoping to um, get more active in Idaho. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Paul Beam, KPVA News that works for you. You don't have to be a, a veteran to volunteer, but you can find out how and see some of their success stories on their website, which we'll have a link on our website. But for now, I'm Paul Beam. Matt Marlies, back to you. All right. Thank you, Paul. Well,